All right, guys, what's going on? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are doing well. So let me show you guys just uh, for a few minutes here. I'm actually on one of my residential properties, how we're going to be uh, doing a mulch estimate. A lot of you guys have been asking uh, for some tips and ideas here with how we bid mulch. So I wanted to do a how-to kind of video for you guys and show you how we do it. Now, first things first, you guys gotta remember there's two formulas out there. Actually, there's a lot of formulas. You know what, let's do this actually. I want you guys to leave a comment down below by the end of this video, leaving your formula, how you guys determine your mulch prices. Because you know what, every year, we we see new mulch videos out there with everybody's latest and greatest ideas. Let me give you just some ideas of how we do mine. When you uh, do your mulch installation and we have our little trusty measuring wheel, right? We're going to be using this guy. That's going to give us our length times width. Now, if you're not a math person, trust me, neither am I, and I won't bore you here, but let's do this. Length times width, uh, let's say you got a tree that's three feet by three feet, something like that, right? That means you have nine square feet. <clears throat> what you can do is take your total length times width your total feet for your property and divide it by 150. And that's gonna give you how many yards you're going to need to do the property. Another way is length times width for whatever you're doing. Then you're gonna divide by nine and then again divide by 36 and that's going to give you uh, how many yards you're going to need for one inch. Obviously times it by two because we want to lay the mulch about two inches thick. So let me give you guys some practical examples. Let me guys show you how we do it and just give you guys some tips and how to's. Now this can work for residential, this can work for commercial. So this bed right here, you're always trying to uh, get like some squares made off. So I'm going to use the corner of the house for example. We're going to do this bed. We're going to take the square off here and we're going to go all the way down in this one this is actually probably a really silly example because this one as you guys can see we just got a trusty little wheel from our angelos we're going to put it down to zero 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 stick with me here it's kind of hard to do all this at once so we're going to walk this whole property and uh, this square right so you can partition it however you want everybody's different you're gonna take your wheel the whole way down and let's just say we're going to this section right here okay Right here we're at 53 feet, right? You guys can see that pretty simple. Let's hit the reset. And now let's see how deep this bed is, the depth of it. All right, and we're at three feet, right? I actually just measured the rest of the middle of the bed and it's about five feet deep. So we're gonna do 53 times five. So that's like, what, 250? And as we divide that by 150, that's gonna be, what, a yard, yard and a half, something like that, two yards. I'm just giving you guys some general ideas here. So length times width divided by 150, that's your yardage, or you can do length times width divided by nine divided by 36, and that's going to go from square feet to cubic yards or whatever it is, right? And so any which way, it's super simple to bid mulch, guys. Um, it's nothing really complicated with anything like that with trees as well um, again I'm still learning so go easy on me if you guys are like oh that's I got a different formula and I got a different way that's totally cool I totally respect that I'm just trying to give you guys uh, some of you new guys just like myself some ideas here that can help you with uh, how to bid mulch okay a lot of you guys are getting into it trying to do it just like I am I'm trying to give you guys some tips and ideas all right so we're at zero zero so again we got this next bed right here right we can do this we're gonna measure it out it is about four feet as you guys can see, four feet. Let's hit the reset button here. Zero, 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 zero. Make sure. All right. Let's take this the whole way around. And we'll take this one, for example, to the wall. And we're at 26 or so feet. All right. So what I do is I take all these numbers and I write them down in my notepad. So I got four by 24. 4x32, 6x6 by six for the trees, 3x3 three three for the trees, 9x9 uh, nine nine for some big mulch bed in the island, right? So what I do is I take all those numbers up and I divide them by 150 or I do divide by 9, divide by 36 and let's get my yards. And then once we have the numbers, we can actually do, start doing some real math. So let me give you guys the other side of the equation and that's how we actually charge. What's our markup? What's our margins? I know a lot of you guys are going to weigh in and give me some different ideas. Uh, what's the best prices to charge? Now this is just up here in Metro Detroit, Michigan. This is just what I charge with my business model everybody's different I understand that some of you guys might be like oh I charge a hundred bucks a yard and some of you guys might be I do 50 but I charge $50 an hour for labor let me jump inside the truck I'll show you guys exactly what we do all right guys so let's do some real-time numbers let me give you guys what I would do in an example like this I already know that there's 1200 uh, square feet that we just measured uh, and 150 uh, square feet per yard right so we're gonna take this really quick 1200 divided by 150, okay? That means I got eight yards of mulch, as you guys can see. So what we're gonna do is write that down. We got eight yards, 
Now, I'm gonna give you guys the formula for what we use and what we charge up here in Michigan. Everywhere is different, uh, so go easy on me on the rates. But for us, it's $75 a yard installed. Now, I also charge for labor, right? So what I do is I take my yards divided by two because one guy can move about two yards per hour and that's going to give us four hours of labor. I charge $25 an hour for my guys, so that means we got 100 bucks. Eight times 75, let's go to the handy dandy calculator. That right there is going to give us $600 for the material. We got another 100, like I said, for the labor right here. And that right there is a $700 mulch job. Now, all that being said, let's talk about cost. What are we making on this, right? Well, the eight yards, for example, is $30 a yard up here in Michigan, okay? So that's 240. Let's say I pay somebody uh, $15 an hour times four is uh, 60. So that's $300, right? If you guys following along here, I know it's a little complicated here and I'm doing the best I can with all this. So that means 300 minus our cost is a $400 quote unquote profit job. This right here would take us probably three hours to do, maybe probably a lot less to be honest with you, but that's a pretty good little mulch job. You can knock out one or two of these in a day. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, hey, $400 in profit on a mulch job, that seems a little ridiculous or a little high. Or you know what, some of you guys, you might be saying, hey, $400 in profit for a mulch job like that, that's kind of low. You know what, guys, this is just a formula that's working out for me. I'm comfortable with it. We've sold a lot of mulch. We got like 11 mulch jobs on the books this year. Uh, last year I had zero, by the way, outside of my commercial property. So so if you know what, folks are digging the price. Uh, that's not with bed redefining. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys charge for redefining the beds. It's like $2 per linear foot, something like that. Some guys just do like a flat $75 or $100, something like that. If you wanna get that nice edge line back. Other guys I know, they'll just take a string trimmer to it once that line's already been there and they'll touch it up. So that's always another option. And then if you got a bed redefiner tool, well then you're gonna start adding that in there as well, which I don't have those numbers just yet. Again, I'm learning as I, I go with my landscaping business. So you guys know that I'm just trying to help you guys out what's working for me and help share it with you guys as fast as I get it. Now again, I know everybody's got different formulas. Like I said, some folks, they're, they're not gonna touch anything for less than $100 a yard. And you know what, that's fine. They might just not be paying for labor, um, like factored in kind of how I added it in as a line item. But you know what, you're still paying for labor, you're still paying for your costs, somewhere in between all there. So you just gotta figure out a formula what works best for you guys. A couple tips I can give you guys for sure when laying mulch and doing mulch installation and mulch uh, work is make sure that you're uh, factoring a couple bucks in for gas money if you gotta drive to your site. Uh, that's kind of a no brainer. Number two, if you gotta rent a tractor or a dingo, obviously uh, some of those might be 100, 150, 200 bucks a day. And if you got a 30 yard mulch job or 20 yard mulch job you're going to want to start using some machines like that to help out uh, with the job i've already uh, had some experience with that so far with my friend mike and we're going to be doing a couple more utilizing his john deere tractor which is awesome so those are just some ideas that i would encourage you guys to factor in there another tip i wanted to make was there's different kinds of mulches out there as well this was uh quoting with a premium brown uh mulch which is about 30 dollars a yard at cost at the uh our supply place and we install it for 75 to 85 dollars a yard depending on the client which side note if you got a commercial outfit you might be able to charge a little bit more which is always awesome and then outside of that the only other thing I was going to mention is make sure you guys are factoring the the labor costs in as well you know a lot of these jobs can get away from you pretty quick if you have to uh, you know move that mulch long distances right so you might want to charge more for your labor you might want to charge $45 an hour you might be in a higher end uh, side of town and you might be able to get away with that uh, but that's just one thing I'd always say is make sure you cover your costs make sure you know your profit margin Margins so you can crush it. Another thing I tell you guys is obviously if you're having the mulch delivered, you know, around here it's 75 bucks to have, I think, 20 yard up to 20 yards delivered, which is not really that bad of a, a deal or a rate. So make sure that, again, another tip that I can add is add those costs into uh, the job that you're doing as a line item. Now, all this being said, this is with quoting uh, mulch at two inches, uh, which is pretty standard practice around here. Uh, if things are different down uh, wherever you guys are at, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys do. But all things being being said, uh, you know, around here, it's two inches is kind of the standard practice. And by the way, um, I learned something really good 
quote from Greg Woodstock. He said something like, uh, when we were at the Aquascape thing a few weeks back, he said, don't give the customer what they want, give the customer what they need, or maybe it was vice versa. But what he's basically saying is customers call you up and they want the whole property looking really, really nice. They don't really care if it's one inch, guys. They don't care if it's two inches. They don't care if it's three inches. They just want it remulched for the most part and looking nice. So don't get caught up too much on the details as much as you are in sales to make these kind of accounts happen. Again, you might try to bore some of your customers with, do you want it at two inches or three inches? And they don't really know. They might just want it top coated with an inch, inch and a half, two inches, which is pretty standard around here with what we do. Uh, use a hard rake, make sure it's nice and uh, evened out, obviously. And you know what, you're good to go. So don't don't try to oversell mulch and try to talk too much, you know what I mean? Just a, a couple tips I can give you guys. But realistically, around here, we top coat everything two inches, make it look really nice. Don't overspread mulch years over years, you know what I mean? We got mulch compaction and all that other stuff. But anyway, hope this helped you guys out. Now, again, if you have commercial properties, you might be able to do better on your rate. Uh, but for us, I charge $75 per yard uh, for mulch over here for our residentials. And then again, what to factor out labor, I take the total number of yards that we do. So let's say it's a 10 yard mulch job. I figure five labor hours and I do five times $25 per hour. That one way I'm kind of making money on the labor, but really just uh, covering some of my costs, if that makes sense. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick one. Again, you can do this formula with almost anything. This was just a quick little uh, example of my formula. Again, if you watch this far, leave a comment down below with what you you guys do and what you guys charge. I am not the authority here. Most of you guys know that. I'm just learning as I go. Uh, this is my second year really doing landscaping. And uh, I say that with like an asterisk because laying mulch isn't really landscaping. You know what I mean? But I'm learning this every single day. It's been so far really good parameters to work in. And so far it's been working out really well. All that being said, hopefully this mulch installation video and mulch bidding job helped you guys out. We can always do more tips and ideas as we do more mulch jobs. Uh, so if you got questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them in a future mulch video that I do. But hopefully this gives you guys at least uh, some ideas of what to work with, uh, at least up here in Metro Detroit, Michigan. But again, reference the comments down below. You guys can leave your formulas and uh, maybe let everyone know like what area of the country you're in. So some people can have uh, you know more realistic uh, rates with where they're at because every region is different. And uh, that's a fact when you start doing uh, you know videos like this on YouTube because you know what, on the West Coast, it's way cheaper to do mulch because you get it a lot cheaper. And you know what, in the South, Southeast, you might be able to charge a whole lot more than we are. So all that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this one, shoot a big thumbs up if it was helpful. All right, guys, all things being said, appreciate the time. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.